Google Scholar was designed to search only scholarly publications instead of the entire World Wide Web that is normally searched using basic Google search engines. It complements the library databases. It does not replace them. When do you use Google Scholar? Use it early in the research process when the benefits of a wide search can assist in providing a large range of information. So let's see how to perform a Google Scholar search. Google Scholar can be found at scholar.google.com. At the top of the page, click on Settings and then Library Links to the left side of the page. Then type in SUNY Oswego in the box and Save. This will allow those items which we currently own to show up in the search. At the home page, you can perform either a basic search or even advanced search. Today we are going to do the basic search using the topic Tuition Costs in Higher Education. The next screen contains a list of sources, journal articles, books, case law, charts, etc. To the left, date range limiters are available, along with other items such as sort by relevance or date and including patents or citations. Click on the title and information from that journal will appear on the screen and the article in PDF format. In some cases there may be a statement that you will need to pay a fee for downloading the article or the article is not currently available. If that occurs, order the article through our interlibrary loan service. There is some valuable information at the end of each citation including the number of times the article has been cited in other publications, related articles, numbers of revisions, cite this button, and the save button. So try Google Scholar, but remember to use the library databases as well. If you have any questions about using Google Scholar, please go to the Ask a Librarian box on the library homepage.